Good afternoon, everybody. That is the beautiful St Mary's Church in Penzance. Today, as you can see, it's another beautiful day. Uh, the sun's out and it's got a cool breeze, but it's not miserable. Uh, I've just finished work and the salt you saw earlier and the pepper you saw earlier were at the place where I had dinner. We go out because we've been told that we aren't allowed to open up the shop with only one person there and it was just myself there. So I closed for lunch. It was cool. I've never done that before. So I closed for lunch and then went back to the shop and just did back of house paperwork and things like that and sorted some donations. But I'm going to wander around St Mary's church yard. I've never been around it before. Never even noticed it actually last time I walked through. We'll do a loop of the graveyard. This is what's amazing. Well, it is like tropical in Penzance as well. Well, anywhere in Cornwall. This looks like something out of an alien planet film or you'd have to be in the middle of the jungle to see, right? Look at that guy. It's massive. I don't think you can see how big it is. Like, its leaves are white, about the width of my hand. And that's an aloe vera plant. Look how big it is. It's taller than me. Loads of lovely little benches to sit on in this uh, graveyard. Look, there's one just there. Just tucked away little benches. There's even a picnic bench in this graveyard. I mean, you've got to be pretty goth to go for a picnic in a graveyard, aren't you? Much respect, Penzance. Much respect. And look at it. It just looks so impressive, this church, because you can see it from miles away, but it's sort of on the end of one of the peninsulas of Penzance, and it kind of sticks out quite high. And the tower's really tall. So it's a lovely church day. And it has this view. This is what it looks like looking up it from the bottom stairs. Mightily impressive. There's this lovely fountain outside the PZ gallery. And opposite the swimming pool, the Jubilee pool, which is the open air swimming pool. And I've never seen it going. But it's a lovely piece of art, just as it is. It's got little lion mouths on it. Little lions. Can you see those guys? There we go. That might be better. You see the little lions going to focus? Yeah, there you go. It's got little lions on. Like I said, little lions. You like the little lions? I like the little lions. So the outcome of it all is that I had to finish my day early at work. I did two and a half hours without anybody in the shop. I kind of think that's enough. So I've come down to the shore, sort of just chill might read my book. I think that'd be a nice thing to do. Read my book. Yeah, I'm gonna read my book. Looks like a pretty good spot to read a book. And I just get to look at this. As I've been sitting there chilling, I've been watching this guy over here. He's been um, stacking stones, balancing stones. They're quite incredible what he's done. Kind of eerie. I love the idea of these stacked stones. They're just so temporary. Try and film what happens when Toby sees a rabbit. This is what happens when Toby sees a rabbit. Can you guys see the rabbits? Yeah. Absolutely no chance of getting them. Good morning everybody, it's hail, it's morning, it's another homeless day. I am walking the dogs as per fucking usual. Surprise, surprise. I've got work today, it's Saturday, 
It's my last day of work before Sunday because that's how days work. Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, we are gonna go and hang out with Bean's dad because Bean's dad is coming all the way down from Bath to come and see us here in Cornery Wall. They're staying in a caravan and their caravan park is in Leeds Town, which is somewhere that way. I think I mentioned before about how jealous I was that my girlfriend gets to take my baby to playgroup and I've never been yet. And this is the amazing stuff she's been doing. It's so cool. Look, this is what she made the first week. She did all the glitter. You see the glitter? Butterfly. And this is what she made this week. She did make a sheep. She glued on all the cotton wool herself. She's so smart. She apparently really loves it. But next week, I've got a Friday off instead of a Wednesday off. So next week, I miss Bounce and Rhyme, but I get to go and see her at um, the playgroup and see what she does and see what she's like when she's there. And because it's a bank holiday weekend, I've actually got loads of time. I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Good morning, everybody. How are we all? It's a Sunday morning. Hold on, let me turn that off. Sorry. I was listening to the Fujis. Ah, oh, today Bean's dad is coming to see us. He arrived last night and is staying. My beard's a bit fluffy because um, I just got out of the shower. That's why I'm naked. I'm not naked. I got shorts on. I got shorts. Don't worry. Not naked. <laughs> Lovely afternoon it is. It's actually early evening probably, so it's good evening everybody. Just wandering down to the takeaway. Well, that's the pizza's ordered, and now all I've got to do is sit and wait for him. There's worse places to wait for a pizza to cook. Definitely worse places. <laughs> It's an odd morning this morning. As I was travelling on the bus from Hale, the whole of what they call Foundry End was shut down. There was police cars, that, 10 police cars, five or six armed officers that I could see, and bells going off, telling me it's 11 o'clock. can tell it's 11 o'clock um, and yeah all these armed police officers and stuff were down in Hale and it turns out there's been an armed robbery it's lunchtime now I'm gonna try someone new for lunch they do little salad boxes so I'm gonna see if they're any good <laughs> salad unboxing videos but that's basically what this is now so we've got walnuts feta some sort of chutney butter beans noodles beetroot looks grand oh, I'll tell you 
um, the salad is kind of also in counteraction of last night's dinner. Um, everybody who had it was not impressed with hail kebabs. Well, that was amazing. <clears throat> and even the leftovers look colourful. Look, do you like it? Be good boy. We don't want to be too predictable, do we? The family at the caravan park where they're staying, which is outside of Hale. And I'm going to walk there. It's a lovely evening to do a nice long walk. I'm not quite sure how long it'll take, but comfy flip flops are on. And uh, sunny G's. First checkpoint Wheel Alfred. Wheel Alfred consists of one, two, three. Four houses and a bed and breakfast, it would seem. And that's it. Very much. Oh, and a dead pheasant. Four houses and a dead pheasant. Wheel Alfred. Here you go. It's a bit of a climb, so I'm a bit out of breath. But this little view is, uh, yeah, it's worth it. There we go. You can just see a bit, a bit of, um, you can just see a bit of poor kidney. Absolutely love it. Just walk along and you turn a corner and then, well, what else could it be? Llamas. Llamas. I mean, what else would you expect? So I've been walking an hour and I've just seen my first sign to the caravan park. Oh man, we're getting right down in the valley now. Proper murder house. Look at this, man. It's ace. I'm moving there. Definitely, that's my new home. They look like static caravans to me. So I'm probably there. Let's see if we can find out where... Oh, there she is, I see her. She's waving at me. I'll go and see her now. Yeah, they all are. Oh, wow. I've got sausage roll, sorry. <laughs> mm, I'll have a sausage roll. Mm. Try and steal it off this one. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Al. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm really behind with the vlogs. Um, it's been a manic week and I haven't had much time to just relax and be cool and chill so I'm a little bit behind I promise I will catch up for next week this is going to be the end of this one for now I don't know if you know but or have noticed but I'm growing some grey eyebrow hairs I've now got about four grey eyebrow hairs so my dreams of becoming a wizard are more likely going to be a reality now yeah so yeah like I said end of this one now Oh, so it will never stop. So bye.